We're going to talk today about Hedra Hashgraph. It's been mentioned a lot in my comments and I want to go through it. Let's see what it's about. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do subscribe, hit the bell button, like and leave a comment. It does help. If you check out my Twitter very, very soon, I'll be doing giveaways every single month. So please make sure you stay tuned as well. With this, this is not financial advice. I am going to do a brief brief overview of what this project is because it's pumping like crazy it's got a lot of things happening right now obviously things grow things get interest and people obviously want to know about it so i'll give you basically an overview of the project in terms of what i look for now this video should not be used as financial advice as i've mentioned because you need to do much more research than what i'm going to give you here there's a lot of things you need to go through when you're researching the coin the first thing you need to go through is obviously coin market cap obvious you need to understand where it is, how much volume it's got, what position it is in the market. Is it a dominant coin? Is it a low cap, high cap, medium cap coin? But the most thing as well, you need to kind of understand where has it been before as well? Has it pumped before? Has it been subject to really aggressive price moves? And ultimately an overview of what it is before you really delve deep. A lot of, you know, the interaction on this website, you can find out, is it a good buy or is it not? And, you know, you will start to find out where it is already on the first line of this. You understand that it is a decentralized public network where developers can build secure, fair applications with the real use consensus. So big companies have already been mentioned already. You can see it here. I don't have to really highlight much. So you've got the platform is owned and governed by council global members, including AV Danielson, Boeing, um, Deutsche Telekom, your Google, IBM, LG, you've got loads and loads of companies in and around here, right? It's savage. That will probably already pickle your tickle essentially and get you going and figuring out what it is. And then obviously you've got more information. Again, exchanges, happy days, and you've got the news here as well, what it is. A lot of people are now talking about it. This is old news, but ultimately people are talking about it for a reason. Now, the one thing about this website as well, which is really good, if you go to analysis, it gives you some information when the coins are more established. You may well find that this will get more interest. Again, ratings, there's not much here. There's, there's rating reports here. There's a few, not many, but it gives you an overview. So if you want to, if you like, and you want to read about reviews and stuff like that and reports from other people, CoinMarketCap gives you a good element, but this is quite outdated. So make sure when you do do this, make sure you've got the most up-to-date information because you know it does help you when you are aiding for research, what other people think, it always helps. So in terms of circulating supply, there's not a good chunk out there, but we need to be aware that there's quite a lot still hold held back so that could be one red flag to look at and investigate otherwise you know you know if you're happy with that you know that is a dangerous the reason why i say that is if there's lockups for team and development and advisors or even like in you know investors essentially from global capital kind of firms you may well find that they will get released onto the market and it may impact the price so just always bear that in mind so let's go over it as a basic overview as i say basic overview a lot more research will be done and as i said it's held and owned by a lot of big, big brands, as you can see on the screen there. It's kind of obvious. So essentially, as I said before, it's, you know, it's it's a blockchain. It's a decentralized layer around the world of, you know, the global technology realm of, you know, building blockchains, building infrastructure on a blockchain that is fast, efficient and cheap. Essentially, this is the third generation, which usually comes in that one, the likes of the Zilliqa, the likes of Polkadot, Cardano, all of those kind of ilk of blockchain. So there's loads of elements here. Again, decent transactions per second versus likes of Ethereum and current levels. Obviously, the fees and obviously the speed is always good. Now, Moving on to obviously metric data, which is always key. When you're buying into a project, you need to see, is it used? Do people care? Do people like it? Do people want it? There's a lot of accounts there. There's a lot of transactions per day. There's a lot of latency as well. So that's always a good sign in my honest viewpoint. Moving down though, not much really to go on other than what we know about main blockchains. Most blockchains have this security element. They have the fair usage of like, you know, how it works. It's fast and st stability you know they're always always key so just be careful that you're not going too deep in terms of the interaction of a blockchain just make sure you understand what their path is overall moving on to you know the token itself the hbar token ultimately what you may well be investing in this is obviously a fast 
and a very very low cost coin move it around pretty damn quickly and it is used for two two options here network fuel key and obviously network protection as well but as i say further research and in terms of the the paper there is a paper based on the economics of the entire token here 21 pages if you if you want to read and want to understand even more about it as i say this youtube i don't like to do it because it's boring but it is there if you so wish to look at that information in terms of like transactions in terms of use cases payments boom you know enable secure fast instant cost effective peer-to-peer -peer payments boom happy days that's what you want in any sort of cryptocurrency so that is a big factor in terms of how it will be used and can be used as a point of sale for people as you can see here settle instantly increase your margins because of less transaction fees and obviously revenue you got media advertisement subscription internet of things and retail so that's like one of the biggest things about this then you got stuff like bringing credibility to identification so identification is a massive thing in blockchains and that is always important so when you're starting to think well can it be used for devices can it be used for you know using your fingers using this and able to verify who you are that's kind of key so as a blockchain to manage data in that sense and critical data essentially is identification that's a big big thing so you've got the likes of education information technology and obviously healthcare you know for identifying who that person is using the likes of earth id so as a use case it will obviously be a big thing tokenization so assets so obviously performance security stability you know all kinds of stuff like that digital assets like no other you know situation we've obviously got likes of smart contracts and other blockchains this is very much key and you've got to be be aware that all these assets in the world that can be tokenized it could be given a value and a, a given that hedge against fiat in terms of worth and knowing that where it is is kind of important so obviously tokenization is a big thing for any blockchain so you can see here supply chain that's a massive industry in itself law ensure the transferring on ownership of said items decentralized finance obviously DeFi, collateral and then obviously you've got gaming as well so this is like it's a monster it's a beast again data compliance we speak a lot about data monetization of data We, we as a product of the user of anything that you got for free you got problems with data you know our data gets sold all the time it's a pain in the ass but there you go reducing liability protect your brand and simplifying auditing we all know the problems with auditing of data we know what tether's got issues with we've obviously got you know processes of like how you should be using and marketing and managing data you know for it to be all managed in one place hedra hashgraph could actually have it on their blockchain as well which is absolutely savage another one as well is obviously fraud again going with the cost of the the world digital fraud accounts for 600 billion wow that's quite you know significant realistically and if it's going to protect against that so it, as you can see here reducing all the elements so here's your key for stakeholders fraudulent activities can be carried out by internal and external parties so this can essentially remove those bad actors from the space which is obviously going to be key especially if you're in like business and stuff like that so timestamps tamper proof real-time analysis auditable enterprise grade security and identification standards huge levels of you know sophistication within this blockchain alone in my opinion moving on to the likes of the team so moving on from obviously use case well what it can be used for there are ob obvious big examples that you can look for but in terms of the mission here you can see the mission and their core values these guys are looking very much towards the future and the fact that they have been backed by some very very big sophisticated companies that have been around for a long time as well and are gearing up for the future the likes of ibm google etc it's kind of important so when you look at the team here obviously it's a massive team and as i say throughout this video you know i'm not going to look too deep into this in terms of bios you know you can spend a lot of time looking at each person reading it but this one you know you can see here the course director of cybersecurity for the u.s air force academy you know ultimately knows his stuff in terms of that element in terms of that you know senior executive for a product security of 1.7 billion dollars in the missile defense agency program that is massive it's all based around the scientific world and you can see they've got experience probably work together as well great little face there in terms of that pose looks like it's holding in a fart but hey ho this person here natalie i mean they've all got a sophisticated background previously worked at yahoo kind of cool so yeah 
Again, you can go real balls deep in this. They've got a whole entire journey cycle as well in terms of how to work. You know, essentially started in 2012, so it's a long time ago. And as you can see here, all the backers, all the people, and there's a lot of them. In terms of roadmap, what's already achieved, what's already came out, there's a lot of things, but there's a lot of things coming out as well in terms of the future. The one thing that is coming out, we've got um, the Coinbase Rosetta sort of elements coming out with... I think Coinbase, um, essentially it's going to be syncing up digitalized tokens, so a lot of tokens are going to go on that. But the one thing as well, it's going to have an Ethereum sort of network bridge as well to allow the, the compatibility to the Ethereum-based tokens, which obviously allow smart contracts and stuff. So there's a lot of things to kind of look forward to in terms of future future elements of this. And what, what I will say with this, but given the size of this blockchain alone, it's kind of important to understand the fact that, well, where can it go? How many enterprises, how many other chains will adopt it and look at it because of its efficiency, its speed, its nature? And it wouldn't shock me in the slightest to see this get even more value moving forward. Moving on to the likes of wallets and exchanges, security, where you can kind of keep it. Obviously, the element here of, you know, your ledger, boom, happy days. That's real simple. Obviously, Atomic Wallet and Bread Wallet, Exodus, all these wallets simple enough to use now obviously i always recommend ledger they're probably by far the best but as i say if you're you know if you've got other devices you'll probably be absolutely fine with holding this and again moving forward on to obviously when you want to buy it or if you want to buy it you obviously got binance cool you got other exchanges as well like the bitrex you got um Chainly, you got CoinSpot, you got all of, literally all of the, the exchanges around that you, you so wish to. You know, the only thing that it doesn't have realistically is Coinbase, but as I said before, you know, Coinbase are looking to roll out this this Ros Rosetta um, development, which will allow digital token assets to go on, basically onto Coinbase. So I think over time, Coinbase will probably get more and more tokens and this will probably be one of them on there, especially with its backers. So just bear that in mind. Finally, before we end, obviously you've got governance. Now the one big thing with this, as I've already mentioned, it is owned and governed by some of the biggest organizations in the world, as you can see by the images. Now, the one thing that they stress throughout this, because it's like a 39 term limited sort of, you know, element of, you know, people, enterprises, and then you've got 11 unique industries within that. There's a lot of like to and fro of what's gonna happen. And already they've stated on their government's model that they are never going to do a fork. So there'll be no forking of the chain. There'll be equal votes throughout and initial network nodes and obviously direction of code base there. So it already appears that they have some sort of alignment and agreement that they're not gonna diddle each other. They're not gonna do each other over in this world. Now, the big thing that probably people will be saying is it seems very centralized and you could probably, yeah, easily argue that. But the fact that they've set that out already as a president is kind of important now. That's the only thing that kind of, it's one of those things with cryptocurrency, it's a double-edged sword, realistically, when you think about it. As a human, as a person, when we look at this, we think, oh, decentralization, awesome. But then you think to yourself, well, actually, it's backed by all these big, big companies. How far is it decentralized? Well, that's the thing with the chain. That's why the chain is there. So obviously here you've got decentralization votes. So there's always going to be people running the ship. There's going to be people that have to run it in a certain way. And this is why they've got the governance here to kind of lay it bare that maybe if you're looking at it the wrong way, you may well find, well, actually X amount of tokens are held. That's for the team, whatever, whatever. But you think, well, is that decentralized or is it centralized? I don't know. But for me, at least they have put it all out there to kind of say, well, they are going to vote on it. They're going to do it effectively, efficiently, and they will do it. You've even got minutes of meetings here, which is also key. So yeah, there's steps there to kind of get involved in terms of understanding that. But overall, as an opinion from me, it looks a very, very solid project in terms of what they've got. Yes, there's a ton of information, probably information overload if you're first looking at this. This will probably take a number of weeks to essentially go through and have a little look at what's actually involved here. And this is only a brief video, a brief outline of what it is, kind of for, to put it on your radar a little bit and go, you know what, this might be quite good. So for me, I'm not an investor, just to put it out there. You know, this is me talking about what people are actually like demanding on my comment section on my Twitter because it has exploded in the last few weeks. I won't do a chart analysis. I might do that tomorrow on Technical Thursdays. But fundamentals in terms of a blockchain and backers and a decent solid team, a decent supply as well, realistically, when you think about it, 
Is it undervalued? You could probably say yes. Is it going to change the world? There's use cases there that could change the world. But at the end of the day, there's multiple different blockchains out there that will get you know a lot of the, the daylight in certain cases. But this has got stuff that is better than other blockchains at the moment in terms of relationships, partnerships, and you know what could be happening in the future here. So it's definitely worth a pun. So that is Hedger Hashgraph. As I say, a very, very brief outline. Yes, it has pumped massively over the last few weeks, but it doesn't take anything away from the fact that it's got interest, got eyeballs. This could carry on going further. This could get, get even more interest. But as I say, always do your research.